Okay, so in preparation for lab test two, I would like to call to your attention a few things that you should review ahead of time. The first thing is to make sure that you once again go over text uh, in the Attaway book uh, with respect to conditional statements, loops, plotting, those very standard things that we've been going over um, over and over again in class and in that Attaway textbook. As well, please do uh, review how the fidgets hardware works and how the object-oriented code that is used with it for digital input, digital output uh, works, as well as how to interface or connect or design circuits for the fidgets hardware that includes resistors, LEDs, and basic wiring. So these are all good things to review ahead of time before the lab test. So this will be the second lab test. It's important to review that. What I'm going to do next is go over um, some, some basic strategies for doing geometric shapes inside of plots in MATLAB. And you may see some sort of questions that relate to this on the lab test itself. So here I'm going to show you how to use MATLAB to draw um, arbitrary drawings uh, within the figure plots. So to do that, we're going to create some axes. So I'm going to do my, oops, best at doing a straight line in my illustration program, just to show you what we're going to actually end up drawing. So this is the plan. Okay, so we have a y-axis and an x-axis. So remember, this is not MATLAB, this is just the plan. So 0 to 10 on the x-axis and 0 to 10 on the y-axis. Now to illustrate what we're going to actually be doing, I'm going to use my favorite topic, that is the undead, um, or zombies, and we're going to do geometric shapes of a zombie um, following somebody. Okay, so here's the zombie right here. So round head, it'll be a female zombie, so she's wearing a dress, like this. And then we're going to have two legs, like this, and of course she's chasing, oh, well, actually, yeah, she's chasing after somebody, so her arms are going to be outstretched like this. Okay, now we're going to have her victim over here. I'm going to make the victim in red. The victim also has a round head like this, and the victim has um, not been eating very often, so stick figure, two legs, and arms out like this because he's really afraid, so he's going, ah! like that. Okay, so um, what we have to do now is illustrate what the different points are on here. So the center of this head right here is going to be at x equal to 7 and y is equal to 5 and the circle is going to have a radius of 1. The circle over here is going to be um, at 2 and 5 with a radius of 1. The neck of the zombie is going to be at x is equal to 7, y is equal to 4. The corner of the dress right here and the corner right there, we're going to have this one at x equal to 8 and y is equal to 2. This one here is going to be 6 and 2. Down here, the bottom of the zombie's legs is going to be um, 6.5 and 0, and 7.5, and 0. This is going to be, let me see, this would be 7.5, and that would be a y of 2. And this one right here is going to be, let me see, that'll be 6.5, and 2. So we've mapped out most of the zombie. Uh, the zombie's outstretched arms are going to be at 5 and 4, and let's make that 6 and 3. Okay, so I think we've mapped out everything about the zombie. Um, the victim. The victim is going to have a, let's see, a pair of arms from there to there. This is going to be 1.5, it's getting crowded here, and 3.5. This is going to be 2.5, and I'm going to squish this down here, 3.5 
here. So z or sorry, x equal to 2.5, y is equal to 3.5. Um, let me see the bottom here. Uh, bottom of the torso is going to be at two and two. Bottom of the foot is going to be 2.5 and zero. Bottom of this leg over here is going to be 1.5 and zero. That's that point right there. And we're missing the neck. Top of the neck, beginning of the head is going to be at, let me see, that's two and four. Did I get that right? Yes. Okay, so we have mapped out all of the different points on the zombies. Now, what we're doing here, while I'm making it an example about zombies, could be applied to um, any um, parametric drawing that you're doing in a CAD program where you're drawing a house or a car engine or a circuit board or something like that. Effectively, you're just setting up geometries. So while right here what we're doing is we're doing an illustration using zombies, this could easily have been an AutoCAD drawing um, of a house or a gear etc. But it's not. In our case right here, it's going to be the zombie apocalypse. Okay? But the geometries and the way we do the geometries works out the same way if you were doing some other parametric design somewhere else. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go over uh, how to draw the zombie and the zombie's victim in MATLAB. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to look at this code here. Um, the first three lines tell you to close all previous figures, then to establish a first figure and to hold on, which effectively means that you permit MATLAB to rewrite on top of an existing figure without erasing lines that were already on it. After that, we're going to do the standard title, label on the X axis and label on the Y axis. After that, we're going to plot the green head of the green zombie and uh, the, the it'll be done in two half circles. The first circle will have, or the first half of the circle will have a radius of one and it centers at an X value of seven and a Y value of five. We plot it using a green line we make sure that the axes of the y and x axis, or the, the boundaries of the y and x axis, uh, are 0 to 10 in both cases. So 0 to 10 on the horizontal, 0 to 10 on the vertical. We do the other half of the circle, and we plot it. Okay. Now, this is all in my editor, and if I highlight this bit of code and right-click on it, I can evaluate the selection without running the complete editor document. This is nice for debugging. So I'm going to say evaluate selection and up comes my figure. And you can see here the title has been applied, the x-axis and y-axis are there, and that head of the zombie is right here. All right, I'm going to go back to my editor. I'm going to scroll up a little bit. And what I want to do is plot the dress. Now, from the earlier illustration, you can review it again. And you'll see that we define the dress as having um, four different points. These are the x-axis values, and these are the y-axis values. So 7 and 4, 8 and 2, 6 and 2, 7 and 4. We plot it, and we'll have a triangle that comes out of this. So highlight, right-click, evaluate selection. I'm going to switch over to my figure, and here you have it. A circle and a triangle. I go back to my editor, highlight the legs. Okay, so we have 6.5, 6.5, 7.5, and 7.5 being the x values and 0, 2, 2, and 0. So 6.5 and 0, 6.5 and 2, 7.5 and 2, and 7.5 and 0. Right click, evaluate, switch over to my plot, and there you go. Head, triangle, two legs. Now we're going to plot the zombie's arms. She's reaching out for her victim. So we have three points, five, seven, and six, four, four, and three. So five and four, seven and four, six and three 
are the three coordinate coordinate pairs. And we go like this. We go evaluate selection. Switch back over to the figure. And there you have it. The zombie is reaching out with two arms. Remember, I can select color here. And in the plot, I have my X values and my Y values. Okay. Now let's plot the stick figure victim. Uh, the circle itself will span an X set of numbers between 1 and 3 in 0 0.01 increments. And we did the same thing with actually the zombie head as well. If you, you should try and uh, experiment with the number in the middle here to see how fine a resolution you need to have. We have our first half circle, our second half circle. I'm going to plot that. Evaluate selection, switch over, and there's a red head right there. If you notice in the plot for the victim, we asked for it to be in red with lines. Okay, so red lines. Now I'm going to try for red lines for the body and the legs. Evaluate selection. There you go. So two legs and a body. Arms, right click, evaluate. There are the arms. And the next little bit that I want to do is add some text, which you can do by specifying the command text and the start, the left hand most character at an X value of 2.5 and a Y value of 6.5. And this will be the words coming out of the victim saying, help me, I'm, or there's a zombie following me. And then a text at 8 and 6.5. So X is equal to 8, Y is equal to 6.5. And this is the zombie speaking. And the zombie says, hungry. Sounds something like that. Okay, so I'm going to evaluate selection. There we go. So we have the victim saying, help me, a zombie. And the zombie saying, mm, er, hungry. Um, and there you have it. So we have some geometric shapes that have been created in MATLAB. We could have done this for just about any other kind of application. It could have been a CAD drawing. It could have been an electrical schematic. It could have been uh, a pneumatic or hydraulic schematic as well. Um, we can do just about anything you want as long as you're doing these geometric shapes. And if we wanted to, we could even make them three-dimensional. Look at that. Anyway. So with that, that gives you a basic idea for how to do geometric shapes in MATLAB. So here's food for thought. If you were to be asked a question about writing letters in MATLAB figures uh, for the lab test, what do you think you would do if the font had to look something like the following? A. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, oops, not that's L, that's J, K, L, M, N O P Q R S T U Oops, let's do a U like that. T U V W X Y and Z. And then the number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. Something along these lines. What would you do if you had to make shapes like this in MATLAB for a figure. 
or if you were asked to do say a star symbol like this or a diamond or let me see how about a pentagon or Octagon. Or a right angle triangle. Or something like that. 